Hello, hello, hello. All right, can anybody hear me? Anybody? Anybody? Hello, hello, hello. Can anybody type in chat if you can hear me real quick? This is my first time using OBS. And I think I got it set up right. All right, so this is my first box. Um, I've got two cases to open uh, tomorrow. If anybody's uh, got nothing to do tomorrow night, uh, I got uh, a live stream I'll be doing where I'll be breaking a bunch more boxes. So the cover is actually kind of cool. Nice Scarlet Witch in the background. Cumberbatch. Impress list of talent autographs. Look for dimensional short print 3D lenticular cards. Collect all 836 parallel cards. All right, let's knock it out. Three rows of cards. All right, all right. Pack art. I've seen some really cool autos get pulled already. Let's see what we got. That's actually a cool shot. For the base card, there's a silver inner ring, and you've got the orange around it, and then the Vishanti window, and then him in the middle. That's actually one that I don't think I've seen in any other card sets, which a lot of times you end up getting uh, uh, the same pictures when these, these MCU sets, it's the exact same photos over and over again, but that that's that's a new one. Um, that we haven't seen yet. Yeah, the uh, 1 in 25 booklet was awesome. That that looked great. It was the uh, Zombie Strange and then the the uh, uh, the autograph. The What I'd really, yeah, the top dream would be the uh, Scarlet Witch uh, Doctor Strange dual auto booklet. And then uh, like the 1 in 25, the single Doctor Strange, and then anything after that. I've never pulled a signature live out of a box before. I typically get pretty screwed when it comes to breaking boxes. So hopefully I'll break enough this weekend that I'll be able to get something, but we'll see. Um, again, it's Doctor Strange. You know that's my guy. Uh, I've got almost as close as I can get to a master set of the 2016 Doctor Strange movie set. Um, there's no way I could get all of the Stan Lee signatures and stuff like that, you know, but I've, I've got a pretty decent run for the first one so that's what i'm looking to do with the second set is uh get as close to uh, uh, as i can of a master set but that'll take me years because there'll be cards that i won't be able to get right away but um over the next few years hopefully i can do a pretty good job on it uh mega chavez looks great she's auditioning for the final season of cobra kai oh really nice i liked her i, I thought she did a great job in the movie I, i'd never really seen her i didn't know her from anything else um let's just take a quick look at the back of the cards 
Are you happy, Stephen? Sinister Strange. Yeah, that was a great makeup. The costume and everything for Sinister Strange was really cool in the movie. They did a really good job with that. So the back of the card, it's got a repro of the image on the front of the card. Um, it's not labeled base or anything like that. Some of the newer sets, they've started actually helping us out and letting us know what the cards are, if they're bases, what parallel they belong to, and things like that, because the color parallels can get very close looking and sometimes it's hard to tell what parallel it belongs to and that's if they get the labeling right because they've mislabeled some of the the last set where it was the wrong parallel labeled on the back uh no you did not miss anything we just got started i'm a slow box breaker i like enjoying the cards all right trust yourself so second card is another base card <laughs> undead strange very nice so these cards, if you hadn't seen yet, uh, they're uh, standard point size. So your basic top loader will fit in these. The hell out of my universe. So third card is a base card. All right, so the fourth card, we've got a Elizabeth Olsen. Yeah, no, I have no need for that. So that's E14. So I haven't actually, I've seen the checklist, um, the base card set goes to 1 to 75, and then there's 25 characterish type cards after that. So I have to look at what the numbers are tomorrow when I do my, the long live stream tomorrow, I'll have the uh, checklist up so I can be a little bit more familiar with it. But the images are really clean. I really dig that, that silver inner border. It really sets off the orange. I think it looks really great. Uh, did you grab up the Doctor Strange... Uh, yes, I did. Um, I won't be able to start reading it, James, for a while, uh, but I did pick it up. Yes. Um, and that's that's a storyline, depending on how they do the story, um, uh, is one that's needed to be told for a very long time. And a lot of people don't understand that storyline or or what that involves. So I'm, I'm looking forward to actually reading it to see what type of uh, canons in there. All right. So we obviously got an insert here. Wanda all beat up. That's at the fight at the uh, Baxter Tower. All right, so that's a numbered card, one out of 838. So um, the numbering uh, lately, the past few years, Upper Deck's been using, they've been doing some really wacky numbers for their parallels. But what they do is they kind of tie into something in the canon or in the storyline or in the movie. So 838 is the... Uh, the version of Earth that they're they're considering uh, this part of the movie coming out of. So and oh, it's an alpha too. It's a one. <laughs> um, I don't. A lot of people like alphas and omegas. I, I really don't care. It, they're no more rare than the five hundred out of eight thirty eight. But some people like collecting the number ones or their favorite number. Like my favorite number is five. If I ever did something weird like that, I'd probably collect the number fives. Um, but that's kind of cool. And then the last card, okay, this is a red. We've got a red border on the inside. Oh, did you? That's very cool. Um, let me actually make a note of that. Do you mind if I contact you later, James, to ask you a few questions about that? I always do for the uh, Doctor Strange archive. I do a lot of uh, uh, backstories and histories and stuff like that. And I think it'd be cool to ask you a couple questions if you wouldn't mind. All right. So the red, let's see what the red is. America Chavez. So E23. Was it the Wanda? No, that was just a silver one too. Great, James. Thanks. I'll uh, sometime this week or the, this weekend or next week. I'll I'll try and contact you and uh, and we can talk about. It. That'd be really cool. All right. So that's a red. So out of the first pack, we ended up with what looks like three bases. They're actually, yeah, three bases. An E twenty three and an E fourteen, and one had an inner red. 
So one, two, three inserts and three bases out of that first pack. Um, I like having, um, uh, for a set like this, having uh, 75 as the technically the base card set. Um, I like having those kind of low numbers be because the they're easier to do the complete sets or the complete base sets in that. Um, for the 2016 version of the movie set, the Doctor Strange movie set, um, they were all limited, all the hobby packs. The base set, all of them were, the base run was 150, and then there was a 50 parallel and a 25 parallel, the silver and gold LTA FX. Um, so they were super limited, uh, even collecting the base set. Yep, so that's another pick inside uh, the Sanctum, with the Sinister Strange Sanctum. Mordor when they first get there. Uh, really cool appearance. The statue out in front of the Sanctum was really cool in this movie. And I thought it was CGI, but when you pick up the uh, book and you're looking at the making of, they actually built that. That was modeled out of like clay and stuff. And they, they built that thing, um, which was really cool. All right. So we got the doctor. <laughs> Soothing by soothing, you mean old. Old. All right, so that's a cool one. Out in front of Sinister Strange's Sanctum. And then America Chavez. And then... All right, so that's extra. So that's a normal card. And then this one's got a rainbow foiling on it. Argentina, awesome. All right, so this one is a rainbow of some type. Again, I'll have tomorrow during the stream, I'll have all the checklists up so we can actually go over the numberings. And then America Chavez is red border. Very cool. Somebody thumbs down. Oh no, look out. All right, so the next pack we got More of the Sanctum, and then I think that's Wong and America Chavez in the back. That's a really cool pick of Wanda. That's nice. And another one. This part of the, uh, uh, when she's actually at the mountain inside there, that those are some cool looking uh, uh, sets that were inside there. Wondergore, it they really did a great job of that. All right, and then our red border. Even the old horns up. A little rock and roll strange. All right, we got Doctor in the house. Is there a doctor in the house? So I think this is probably out of the parallels that I've seen so far and on the checklist. This is probably my least favorite one. I, I, the composition of this, you know, just with the the heartbeat monitor and stuff going in the background, I, I just don't dig it a lot. But not bad. We don't all like all the inserts and sets. Awesome. So it looks like we're hitting one red border. The rest of the bases are silver and then another insert of some type as the fourth card in. So the Book of the Vishanti. Um, some of you know that I build some of the Doctor Strange props just for uh, private showings and conventions and comic book conventions and stuff like that. 
Um, I built two eight foot, nine foot Doctor Strange windows, Vashanti windows. Um, I started building, but haven't finished uh, the orb of Agamotto. Where they'll have a dark dimension uh, inside the orb. But when I saw the book of Vashanti and the altar that it's on, I thought that was just cool as hell. So that's going to be added to my project list to build a full size one of one or a one to one scale altar with the book of Vashanti in there. Another cool one is getting ready to uh, manipulate the dark. So a lot of the one thing the MCU has really started screwing up with Doctor Strange is they've kind of got him in the trope of, well, he tries to do what he thinks is best, but ends up screwing things up. And that's absolutely not what Doctor Strange is. Yes, he's done it in the past, but Doctor Strange has done black magic. He's done a lot of things because he's had to. He's the master of the mystic arts and the sorcerer supreme. So um, he has made mistakes in the past. But in the MCU, it just seems to be kind of the trope they put him in where everything they, they set him up to fail that oh, he screws things up so other people have to come in and fix it kind of thing, which is really aggravating. Um, but this was a really cool scene in the movie also. I'm really digging the the pictures that they've started using or that they're using for the base set. Every morning, the same nightmare where she wakes up and doesn't have her kids. And that's uh, the Mount Wondegore um, set. So the red border seems to be the last card in the pack. Witchy Woman. That's a cool pick. Oops. So WW12. Yeah, Deborah, absolutely. You know, and that, that, that's what they've kind of really done or kind of pushed them towards. It's going to be interesting to see the next phase of Marvel because Disney has really switched a lot of things up. They've changed the Mooney li movie lines up. Iger's come in and shook up the house just because of Disney losing so much money and stuff because they're just throwing huge amounts of money at things. Um, so he initially was supposed to have a very big role or be kind of the center pin, kind of like Iron Man was in uh, the first phases of of the Marvel movies and the MCU. He was supposed to have a pretty, you know, decent center pin to that, but who knows what they're going to end up doing or how he's going to end up being in the next uh, few movies. But we know he's going to be in a few movies. Um, Cumberbatch is one of those actors that does a lot of other things. He's a very award winning actor. So um, a lot of movies he's in, he's only in for a small amount because he doesn't have the time or hasn't had the time over the years to really commit to the, to the full movies. But um, hopefully we'll get the Doctor Strange 3 and then uh, he'll be in the ramp up to whatever they're going to do with the Kang and stuff like that. So, all right, another base card. Great scene um, where they bring in the Illuminati, which um, in the comic books, you know, Doctor Strange was one of the founding members of the Illuminati. The uh, this is a, an alternate universe version of the Illuminati, and it, they first introduction to the X Men because Professor X is in there, so they brought in uh, Professor X and then a few of the other alternate versions of the characters. But um, it, it was kind of cool to see the Illuminati there, and then the fight that happens after this is really cool, also. Rachel McAdams. Our red, another Wanda. Yeah, well, that that's one of the things that to me that I like about Doctor Strange. You know, since the beginning, is one he was a superhero that didn't wasn't born with something. He had to literally dedicate years and years. And technically, when he goes out and fights the War of the Spheres. He's hundreds of years old. He's, he's a lot older than what people think. You know, to become the Sorcerer Supreme, the Master of the Mystic Arts, you, you have to dedicate your life to be that good. Um, and he uses his wits to, to outsmart a lot of his foes because he fights gods. He fights celestial entities. You know, you can't just beat them with sheer power alone. Um, so, yeah, that's a, that's a very good comment.
Shuma. So Gargantos, if you don't know, this is actually sh in the comics at Shuma, uh, Shuma Gorath, but the rights are owned by um, various other companies over the years, various other publishing companies, because he was originally kind of out of uh, the publisher from Conan and, and stuff like that. So sometimes over the history of Doctor Strange, when they use this character, they have to call him other things, but it's, it's Shuma. It, it's always been Shuma. All right, we got another witchy woman. So I don't quite really like that just because, I don't know, they're, all, they're both pretty much the same card. I, I, I would have liked a little bit different, something different, but I guess the witchy womans are just going to be Wanda in, in different poses with the same background. All right, Lady Deborah. Good talking to you. All right, next pack. All right. Dead Strange. Whoops, I bumped my camera. Sorry for making everybody sick. Uh, him in the Fantastic Four Baxter-ish building, talking to Christine or finding Christine for the first time. And then Clea, the first Clea card we got here. So Charlize Theron, interesting pick um, for an actress. I, I love her. I've, I've watched her in all her movies. She's done some great work. Uh, won an Oscar, I think, for, um, was it Monster? That was, it was, a, did a creepy job in that movie. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what she brings to the character in the next iter iteration. Hopefully we'll be able to see her. All right, Sarah, uh, kind of one of the uh, Hermitage extras. Again, the Illuminati. All right, so another one of these cards. Um, so this is the fight at Comertage. That looks like Rentro right there in the foreground. Uh, this is me being reasonable, so that's her. She, she comes to get the girl. Another one out of 838. <laughs> so that's the, the two cards we got out of that subset. They're both alphas. Watch him be a misprint in every card as a one out of eight. <laughs> Upper deck has done some strange, you know, can't quite call it quality control things, but weird issues have popped up. All right, what's next? Thrown into the multiverse. Captain Marvel versus the Scarlet Witch. So this is this this is a card that they didn't need because it, it, there's so much that's not in focus or crisp. You really can't tell a whole lot that's going on there. I would have probably skipped that one and picked something else. That's really not a great card to use. I shall miss you, my friend. Um, that's when they get ready to kill their Doctor Strange or their universe. Ultrabot, Rose Marquand. I'm going to have to look that name up. If they listed her, I'm assuming she's an actress. Maybe not. They'll end up doing like they did in Star Wars and pick every random person sitting at a stool and get signatures from them to fill the sets. All right, there's something pretty shiny back there. That's got some, got some shiny to it. And then the red card is... Uh, the one we just saw. So we got the red parallel of the fight of Carmitage with Rintra. All right, let's see what this shiny card is. A Wanda Pure Madness, a non-signature version. Very hippy-dippy, trippy. So for those that don't know the history of Doctor Strange, uh, Doctor Strange is one of the first Marvel car uh, uh, characters ever created. He was created, what was it, a year and a half after Spider-Man was created uh, in the uh, 
mid, uh, early to mid sixties. Um, so it was a very, it was the perfect time for a character like him with the mysticism and, and, and stuff. So we can see that there's a line going through. And I don't know if that's from the foil laying, which it probably is. It's not a roller mark. It's not a scratch. It's a straight line. So the uh, Silver Surfer one of one from the last set that just came out, it's got one of those marks right down the card. The, the 101 Silver. The Surfer hasn't been out in forever. Um, and the 101 card's got one of those damn lines right down the, I think it goes vertically. All right, new card, something new. All right, we're about halfway through this box. I gotta stop hitting the camera. That's a cool pick. Nice. nice colorful card and that's another reason i always I, I liked dr strange from the very beginning many decades ago was just because the the his costume his uniform with the blue and the red and then the comic version with the orange go uh, gloves it just really is cool all right so we got another one of those let's see if this is going to be a one of 838 Oh, it's a three of 15. Okay, so this is something different. So this is different. This is not... Okay, it's got a gold inner border. Instead of a silver, which was the 838, this has a gold and it's got a more yellow splatter on it. It's a good, good still of her. 3 of 15. Not too bad. And then our red border. Another Wanda. All right, so the Book of the Vishanti, again, not a very crisp picture of that. It probably, probably could have picked a better picture of that from the movie. I know they've got still photos of it that are a lot cleaner. Uh, not too bad. Got a 3 of 15 of Wanda so far. Uh, that's at the mountain where Wanda's trying to take her power. Again, back in the Illuminati room. Our red border is our uh, female version of Captain America, Captain Britain. Haley Atwell, which I really liked what she's done in the, the Disney shows and then in the movies too. I really liked her character. All right, so we got another, all right, this is a different border. Uh, it's blue. So the inner border on this one is blue. So that's a one in 99. So I like the color variants, the foil variants. I like how the foil doesn't distract from the pictures. They're on some of the sets, the foil like just kind of runs halfway through some of the art and things like that. So by having it the inner border, I really kind of dig that. Looks like we got another doctor is in coming up. There's Steven and Wanda above uh, Kamataj. We've seen that guy already. 
again, going inside Wondagore. The new one, new Wanda one for the red border. Uh, yeah, Ryder, that's that's my plan. It, it, it'll it take me probably a couple years, depending on what's going on here, but um, I'm going to do like I did for the 2016 set and get as, as close to a master set as I can, yeah. So we've got another. So it looks like the doctor, is there a doctor in the house? Is going to be all Stevens, and then the witchy woman's is going to be all Wanda's, which makes sense. The Defender Strange character they do some weird stuff with his wigs and his hair um, I'm not sure if that was my favorite kind of version of what they did to him uh, but it was nice to see some of the other costumes like the defender uh, costume and things like that stop hitting the camera All right so our base card base card Looking up at the mountain, we got a Chuitel Etivor. I, I've never been able to pronounce his name, but I love him. He's, he's been in some great stuff. And our red is Undead Strange, which was really cool. I've got the uh, Hot Toy sixth, sixth scale of Undead Strange, but I haven't unboxed it yet uh, with the move and everything else that was going on. Um, I just haven't been able to get it out of the box. That and the Iron Man version of Doctor Strange from uh, the uh, Infinity movie. I haven't even gotten out of the box yet either. All right. Film cell ish. So, the... Film cell card is acetate or see-through. The whole, the whole card is acetate, so it has some transparency to it. Uh, tomorrow, when I break the when I break the case or do a bunch of boxes tomorrow night, I'll bring out a light box. I'll have a light box so we can put these on a light box to see what they look like. Back in the day, if you were an early collector of like Star Wars and things like that, you actually could get original film cells because that's how all the movies were, were on celluloid. And they would actually chop up the real film cells. Uh, not for, I don't know if they ever did it for the trading cards, but for other collectibles and memorabilia, you actually could get pieces of a real film cell, which was cool. All right, another Haley Atwell, America Chavez. I liked her jacket. I kind of like how they did up her costume, kind of less is more with the jacket was cool. Undead Strange. Uh, fighting Shuma out in the streets. And then our red is America Chavez. Oh, that's another... Just noticed I'm gonna have to go through and relook at the base cards again. That's another foiled one. Then one out of eight thirty eight. Are you kidding me? So out of that subset, so far I've gotten card 41, card 11, card 65, and they're all alphas. Or is this meant not to be a number, a serial number? No, because there's not 838 cards. So I've got the alpha out of the three cards of that subset. I wonder if that's how the cases go. Since I got two full cases, I wonder if all those numbers are going to be sequential or... That's going to be really weird to look at. All right. Come on.
All right, so Comatage again. Wanda. Dead Strange with the arms coming out. Like I said, I can't wait to unbox that statue. It's going to be really cool. The, the, the Hot Toys six scale stuff is just so cool. All the Star Wars stuff is just amazing. And then our Red Border is Strange. Got another Doctor's In coming up. The Musical Note Battle. Some people didn't like that, but I thought it was cool as hell because there are many, many, many different forms of magic and types of magic. So uh, I thought that was an interesting thing in the script. Oh, we got one of the dossier ones. Dr. Strange. AA6. All right, two more packs in this box. I'm going to start busting through some of the cards here. So Wanda trying to take uh, her powers. Wanda. Wanda. The Book of the Vashanti. Space Between Universes. And our Red Border. Dead Strange. And then another Doctor Zen. So that's nice that we haven't got any duplicates of uh, the Doctor Zen and the Witchy Woman ones. Uh, so there's no dupes. And last pack in the box. Pack in the box. Uh, again, the fight out in the street with Shuma. Uh, Darkhold. Which Doctor Strange in the comics has had a lot of interaction with the Darkhold. Uh, another before the Illuminati. Captain Marvel. A red border. Oh, it's Clea busting open the uh, portal to the dark dimension with her dagger. And then our insert is another witchy woman, which is a different one than what we've had. So nice. All right, so that's box number one. We're going to do one more box today, and then the rest of them will start popping tomorrow night. Uh, when you're doing the case break tomorrow, I'll definitely will tune in. Oh, cool. Thanks, Ryder. Yeah, we're going to do, I'm going to be doing giveaways um, tomorrow during the break, too. So some of the 1 in 25s from the 2016 series, uh, things like that, um, I'm going to be giving away during the stream. So we'll be going nice and long tomorrow night. Um, hopefully have a little bit of fun, talk about some trivia, talk about Strange. So these packs, if we ever figure out if hits are in a certain order, the way they pack these, they, they, the two packs so far has already shuffled back and forth, so it's kind of hard to determine um, which pack was in which stack. So if you think you know where the hits are in a box and you go to your store to buy a single pack, don't think that uh, that's gonna be the actual spot. Or uh, a lot of the stores now shuffle the packs, especially the sporting, the ones that sell the sports cards and that, because some of the sports cards, they put the hits in the exact same spot every time, so they always shuffle the packs before they put the singles out for single picks. All right, first pack out of the second box. Strange. Adams and Strange. And our red. Now that's the tunnel where they're going through trying to find the Book of the Vashanti. And then our quasi-hit card. Okay, this is something different. We haven't seen this one yet. Sorcerer Supreme. Captain Marvel. Oh, it's a uh, acetate card. I love acetate cards. Um, if you've seen, oh, it's got a little, little bit of a rainbow to a rainbow to it, also. 
So uh, the 2016 movie set um, had a whole set of acetate cards. There were uh, comic book illustration type cards um, that were really cool. A lot of people kind of enjoyed them. Wow, it's, I wouldn't even notice that there's a kind of a rainbow to it. Very cool. Got this. Chavez's portal. Them going through the worlds. Another one of those with the red border. Doctor Strange, um, I believe that's where he's in the orchard with Wanda when he first goes to talk to her. And then another witchy woman. Streets fighting Shuma, Darkhold, Illuminati, the notes battle, and our red is Chavez, and our card is it's a different orientation. One of 838. So am I, am I, am I having a brain fart here? Is. These have to be regular serial numbers. And out of, that's an E subset. These are regular numbers. So they're, they're out of a different subset, out of 838, but they're all number ones. That's crazy. You gotta be looking at something wrong. All right, Dead Strange. The notes battle again. Wanda taken, trying to take Chavez's power. The red frame is mortal. They could do this all day. And our hit ish. All right, so it's a Doctor Strange film cell acetate card. Kind of like this one of him, he's smirking. He's got like the three musketeers going on. And the cell is the battle out in the street with Shuma, or Gargantos, however you want to address him. Want, oh, we got another really shiny one back there. Wanda. The Book of the Vishanti. Sinister Strange. The Red Border when they're getting ready to kill the uh, 838 Strange. And Pure Madness for Strange from the pick of them getting ready to blast him. All right. Yeah, um, the border's great. I, I honestly, from the promo pictures and the sell sheet, I thought it was going to look way too busy. Um, but in hand and, and up close, um, it does, it does, and it's kind of cool. And I like how the foiling color variants are that inner border. Mm. 
another dossier. This time it's Darkhold Castle Guard. Those big ginormous guys up in uh, Wondagore. Interesting. Yeah, I really the, the only thing so far that I really don't like is the um, not very like stacks is the the doctors in ones. Um, I just don't like the heartbeat background thing. It's it's just too generic. And that's I think what this hit card is going to be. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't, I don't care for this card. I get it. Is there a doctor in the house? But I, I honestly think that the design or the layout could be better on this card. But that's right. All the rest of them, I really, really have liked. And again, so far, I think my faves are this orange with the rainbow foil. That's really cool. Fates. Fates. Yeah, Hermitage Fates. The red. Oh, we haven't seen that one yet. Of Wanda just with the dark hold out. is wrong. So that is the one, two, three, four, fifth card that's an Omega. I gotta be looking at this wrong. Or excuse me, an alpha, not an omega. Um, for anybody who hasn't looked at the set yet or looked at their purchasing, it's actually the least expensive set in a couple of years, probably, for a box. Um, so they're very inexpensive to pick up if you want to just do a random box for... Fun. The third eye. The dark hold extracts a heavy toll. All right, let's see what we got here. Blue border. And that's a one ninety nine. So, so far out of the 838s serialized, I've gotten the alpha for every card that we've pulled for that set so far. <laughs> All right, so that's a new card. That's when they're down in the tunnel heading to the Vishanti. Uh, that's a new one also. That's in the orchard when she drops her hex. The fight with the Illuminati, or in the Illuminati room. That's a new one, too. Uh, Rentra. I wish Rentra would have had a, more of a role in the movie. Uh, I really thought he was fun back in the 90s when he was in the Doctor Strange comic books. Um, so I wish he would have had more of a role in the movie. All right. So this is one of those foiled cards. And it's the Dead Strange. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm digging that one. All right, and then we've got... Oh, so that was the... Nice. 
Nice. All right, we're almost done. We got like five packs left. Another card we haven't gotten yet. I don't think we've gotten that Wanda yet either. The red border is Wondagar, Wondagore. That's a new card. When uh, Dead Strange gets reanimated. And is this a dossier? Yep, another dossier card. Uh, Shuma, Gargantos. Nice. They should do signature cards since they really reach anymore for signature cards in a lot of sets, especially like Star Wars sets. You know, the third dude on the end of the bar. They should do signature sets of like this, but the signature should be the special effects supervisor or something like that. That would be cool as hell. Or if it was a practical puppet. They, uh, the puppeteer, the, the special effects head. That would be funny. I know they've done some of the Yodas and stuff. They've done, um, uh, with what's his name, uh, on a signature card. Frank Oz. Right, base. Looks like we got another Doctor's in. It's a new one. We haven't gotten that one yet. Here's a new one. The Ribboned Creature. One of the creatures that was attacking America Chavez. The fight with uh, Sinister Strange. Mordo. Red Border. And our Doctor's in from the Illuminati scene. All right, what do we got? Three packs left. Yeah, when you're a, a Doctor Strange collector and you post on the social media sites, we always get the, uh, that's strange. That's a strange card. That's, yeah, we get those bad jokes all the time. All right. Not sure if we've gotten that card before. Oh, that's what they're kids uh we haven't seen that card yet either i think that's a new one for us too i don't think we've seen that version of the card and the red border and to the multiverse i kind of like him sitting off to the side like that that's pretty cool all right so we got another one of those foil cards One of 838. Uh, we haven't seen this one yet. This one's from the wedding. I haven't seen that one yet either. Oh, uh, and they uh, drug the tea. Haven't seen that one yet either. Nice. Some new base cards. There's the Dark Hole Castle Guard. The red version of that, Captain Marvel versus Scarlet Witch. Again, I don't care for that image. It's not very good. All right, and then we got another witchy woman. All right, one pack left. Like another doctor is in. Where's the doctor in the house? The running strange. 
All right, so that's two boxes. So I think out of these guys, I really dig this foil with the orange. It just looks really cool. So we got a few of those. Uh, Sorcerer Supremes. We got one of those acetate cards. We got two film cards. So it looks like about one per box. We got two of the Pure Madness cards, which looks like about one per box. Then we've gotten several of these types of cards. Gold border, blue border, the gold borders out of 15, blue borders out of 199. And we've got a few more of those. The regular border, silver border, is out of 838 and all of those cards we got are alphas unless i'm reading this wrong this just gotta be what it is but i've never seen a box hit like that before all right thanks for those that came in uh once again tomorrow night uh if you go to the live section of the YouTube channel, and I'll post on the sites also as a reminder tomorrow. Um, but tomorrow night, I'll be doing uh, pretty close to a full case tomorrow, and we'll see what we get. Hopefully, we can get some signatures. It uh, looks like they've been kind of doing for the signatures one decent character or one main character, and then one secondary character signature per case. Uh, so we'll kind of see what we get. All right, thanks, everybody.